we're going to learn everything we need to know about AC light fixture wiring. Today on the Home Tip Show, let's do it. So two questions commonly arise when wiring a light fixture to an electrical box. The first question is, does it matter if I reverse the wires when connecting the fixture to power within the box? If you answered no to this, you're wrong. It actually does matter, but probably not for the reason you think. While the light fixture will operate just fine and the bulb will last just as long as when connected backwards, the issue with having the wires connected incorrectly is safety. So let me explain. There are two connection points inside a light socket. And this is a light socket for a, um, a kitchen light that I haven't installed yet. This is a light bar actually. The first connection point are the threads. So one of these, one of these wires here attaches to the threads. The other attaches to this little metal tab here at the bottom. And if you look at a light bulb, you'll notice that there are threads on the outside of the light bulb and there is a little metal tab at the bottom. The threads on the light bulb attach to the threads on the socket, that electrical connection, and the little metal tab at the bottom of the bulb pushes into this little flexible tab down in here. So for safety reasons, we want only the neutral wire, the white in the ceiling, connected to the threads. This helps reduce the chance of accidental electrocution when inserting or removing a light bulb from the socket. You know, when you're twisting the light bulb down and your hands maybe slip down the down the light bulb a little bit and potentially touch the metal on the threads. Well, if you have this connected to the hot wire within the box, you're gonna actually increase your chances of getting shocked or getting electrocuted. We then want this attached to the hot wire within the electrical box. So this leads us to the next common question that we get with overhead lights, especially with hanging lights, where, as you can see in the case of this one, it's two black wires. How do you tell which one is the positive? Um, which, how do you tell which one of these is attached to the middle tab and which one's attached to the threads? Well, a lot of people don't know this, but if you split these wires apart a little bit, and you feel on one of these wires, you're gonna feel, there it is, you're gonna feel a little ridge that sticks up. Um, and it's this one right here. The wire with the ridge is the one that connects to the threads. So just think ridges, ridges. So this is gonna be your neutral wire. The other wire is smooth. It doesn't have the ridge on it. And so it connects um, inside the fixture or inside the socket to the bottom piece. And so when you're wiring it, the neutral one, the ones with the ridge will attach to the white uh, neutral wire within the box. And the one that's smooth will attach to the hot, usually the black or sometimes the red within the box. Now, what do you do in the case where you don't really know. Say you've pulled the wires apart and, and you just can't tell if there's a ridge there. Well, this is pretty easy to solve. All you need is a multimeter um, or some sort of uh, um, conductivity meter. And we're gonna switch it over to ohms. Switch it over to ohms. And as you can see right now, it's reading infinite. Let me zoom in a little bit on it here. It's reading infinite. It says 0 0.0, but that basically means infinite resistance, meaning that there's no connection between um, these two. If I touch them together, it's gonna go to near zero ohms. Yeah, anything less than, it's gonna vary a little bit, but you know, you can see that there is some sort of connection. It's only 2.2 ohms or so. 
So what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna to try to figure out which one of these two wires is attached to the threads. So I'm gonna put one of my connectors on um, the threads, and then I'm gonna put one on the first wire. Oh, nope, it's not that one, or we would have seen some change on the meter. What about this one? Up oh, there it is. That is the one. So I know that this wire, and yep, it's the one with the ridge, is connected to the threads and will be attached to the neutral wire. Now what sometimes people do is they'll wrap a little piece of white electrical tape around this so that they'll know in the future that that is, if they ever had unhooked the light and they wanna hook it back up and they can't feel the ridges, um, they'll know that that is the neutral wire. So there you go, that's, uh, that's how you do it. Thank you for watching the Home Tips Show. If our videos have helped you do something, provided entertainment, or increased your do-it-yourself skills, you can show your appreciation by one, hitting the subscribe button for a free subscription to the Home Tip Show YouTube channel, and two, liking my channel by hitting the thumbs up button. You can also ring the bell button, which will give you a reminder within YouTube when I publish new videos you may be interested in viewing. If you have any comments, questions, or input on this video, or would like to make suggestions for future videos, leave a note in the comments section or email me at thehometipshow at gmail.com, all one word. I read and respond to all comments and emails. See you next time!